Good morning, everyone, and happy July 5th, Tuesday, 2022. I've got a few uh, walk by face to uh, bring to you because I this is the first day that I've picked up breakfast since the second. So I was able to go down there, take a rest when I got there, take more rest while I was getting re breakfast ready, and then I was able to walk back slowly. Um, so July 3rd was, she was full of joy and generosity and everyone knew her heart belonged to God. Yesterday's was, he is the strength of my heart. He is mine forever. Bonus day, he woke us up. And today's, she wanted to grow in beauty and grace. So she asked God to show her the seeds she should plant in the soil of her heart. And you know, it's not a coincidence because this morning, the seeds that I had in my purse that I've been carrying around, I have pumpkin, zucchini, pumpkin, zucchini, squash, cucumbers. And I just sprinkle them early around my way to breakfast while she was investigating of where she was going to go to the restroom if she was going to go. So I, um, I'm, um, I can't say I'm improving because I don't see that I'm improving. I had to get Hannah Banana's bowl out, so when I shake all the sugar out of the oatmeal, and nonsense. I already have my hot water done for, so. I um, had to have something to shake it and put it into after I shake all the stuff that none of us need in it. It's nice though, when you shake it over the trash can, you can tell when you don't have to shake it anymore because there's nothing else coming out of it. It's amazing though. So much is in it that our bodies do not need. And there's still a hint of the taste. That's all you need. You don't need a pile of it. I mean, talk about gluttony. Look around the world. And, of course, the gluttony, too, is also because of the foods that we eat, because of what's in the food, the, po the poison in the food. They're going to cause edema, etc. So, hopefully you had a great fourth yesterday. And we're able to spend some time and reflect about the world that we're living in and maybe some thoughts that you might have up your sleeve of ways we can go about changing it. I mean, two heads are better than one, but think about a whole army of, of people that are participating and sharing their knowledge with the world to help fight this tyrant regime. It's, um, when you realize, um, you're down, you're, th today is day 40 for me. Started at seven o'clock last night. My coloring keeps changing every day. Um, by the grace of God, I go outside for a few minutes, I get tan. So I'm keeping a little bit of color, even though right now I look extremely pale in this light. I don't really look this pale. That's even possible. I've got too much yellow in my skin to be this pale. So, um, I just feel like my my homework assignments are coming to an end because I keep passing out, you know, everything that I've learned along the way. And I just I just feel like no matter what efforts I take, 
Am I going to enlighten some? Yeah. Are others just going to run? Yeah. And I'm finding that's more and more the situation lately. Is people are running. They're not. They they're 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 in denial. That's all I can say. They're in denial of what is going on in this world. Um. Or maybe they just don't care. Maybe they just figure they're just going to go about their life and whatever happens happens. I mean, I don't know. Everybody's got to have their own mindset of how they're dealing with life. But when when you constantly are learning and and acquiring knowledge and plus getting these messages constantly from him, you want to share it. You want to yell, scream at the at the mountaintops because you want other people to understand the magnitude of their sins. But it doesn't matter what I say, people are still going to make their own minds up of what they decide to do. So when do you stop beating a dead horse? I'm tired. I'm tired of, of, of teaching everybody what I've learned. Frankly, I'm exhausted and my body is not not lying to me of what's going on with it. I'm weak. Um, when I have to make sure that I have a, a way back home, and I don't, I'm, in, I'm not even leaving the resort. You know I'm in bad shape. How am I doing it with Grace? With him. Death and taxes. Can't, I can't stress that enough that that's two thing guaranteed life. Once your life, death and taxes. Although there are other alternatives on paying our fair share that he wanted. We the people for paying our fair share. It's those in the tyrant regime that haven't been. There's where the problem lies. See what happens when you follow the rules and they don't? And they find every loophole and whether it's true or not, they don't care. They're just going to do it anyway because they think they're above the law. Just saying. And again, this is just stuff that I have uncovered in the years of doing taxes. So... You can you can take what I what I'm providing you with with a grain of salt and say, oh well, that's an adulation on tangent again. Or you can take what I said, plant a little seed, look around, and truly see what I see and what I've witnessed and what throughout my life. I don't know. It's just that. So um another bonus day. Why don't you get to stop working for a living and enjoy life? I don't know how much time I have left and I'm only 56 years old and I don't foresee me hitting my 57th birthday to be honest. That will be a miracle with how how low I am. Yesterday I took 9,000 Nine thousand nine zero 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 MCGs of B12, so that I could walk to the take her outside and later go back out and walk to the beach, and that only gave me enough energy to take her out, come back, and I didn't go far and walk to the beach, and I was done. And that's after taking naps. That's after sleeping the night before. My e-stop button is, is getting closer and closer to my final curtain call. It's the only way I can say it. I mean, it's life. It is what it is. Why not celebrate it while I'm still here? That's the way I look at it, right? Not how we're supposed to look at life. As a gift. Three days a gift. It's a bonus day. 
So today is my bonus day. And I, I'm hopeful. I'm going to pray. But I'll be able to take her for a little swim. I'll have the energy to walk. It's a ways to walk. So yesterday I only got as far as the marina seating area. And I had to sit down. I couldn't go any further. It's okay. You just have to know your limitations. You have to know what your body can do and what can't do. And you have to listen to it. Because if you're going to force it to do things it doesn't want to do, you're going to get into trouble. And I don't want to be... I don't want to get into trouble and be lifeless somewhere. Because I've been very close to feeling that way multiple times in the last... within the last four days. It's been the worst. So, today is day 40. Another bonus day. Not to all bunches and bunches. Bye.